All right, so I'm trying to get all my figure reviews wrapped up for 18, but it's already 19, and these action figures just won't stop coming out. It's like they tried to make it before Christmas, it didn't, and now you got to run out and buy a bunch of toys in the first of the year. I guess that's good. It could be bad. I'm not real sure. I'm going to be checking out these Jurassic World, Jurassic Park skeletons made by Mattel. They do have a Walmart exclusive. It's in a big giant box. It was $80. It's now 40 bucks, which is actually a pretty good deal. It, it gives you the big Mosasaurus, which you already have. I've already reviewed that. It gives you a submarine, which hopefully you didn't already buy. If you did, then this pack is like completely worthless. It gives a submarine. I was thinking about getting that. I held off. I'm glad that I did. And then you get the skeleton for the guy that falls into the water that the Morosaurus eats. I think his name is like the Dominus Rex or Infamous Rex or whatever. And I was thinking if I buy the pack, I won't need the T-Rex skeleton. After further examination, the T-Rex skeleton is actually totally different from this. So I still need to get it. The only time I've ever, I've ever actually seen that thing for sale was at Universal Studios. It was kind of pricey. It was kind of heavy because it comes with all that sand. So I'll probably have to shop around on eBay. I found it for 40 bucks. I was hoping to only pay about 30 because it's so similar to this one. I'm having a hard time pulling the trigger. I also need the Triceratops, which I don't have that one yet either. I got all these for Christmas. This is the advantage of actually taking pictures of stuff that you want, sending it to your wife or girlfriend, and there's a very good possibility that you might actually get something that you want for Christmas. Of course, you're still gonna get the socks and the underwear. But it's nice to see an action figure underneath the tree that you actually wanted. I'm going to open these things up, I'm going to build them, and then we're going to get back to this video. Alright, so I got them all opened up, put them together. These things take about 10 minutes to put together. They're all just, it's like building a skeleton. There's lots of little pieces in there, which I guess if you're a kid, it might be kind of, be kind of fun to put them together. They, the pins like lock together. You push them in and then twist them. And make sure that you do look at the instructions and you do look at the numbers because there's like a right and left and the bones basically look the same. So just be cautious of that. And then they each come with this little piece, which it looks like crap in there. It's like a little action piece. You can put this in, depending on which dinosaur you're doing. This one would be for the wings. You can put it in there and you'll kind of get like an action with it. So this one would make the bird fly. But then you would see this red thing right in the center of his chest. And then that kind of sucks. And another one, it'll move his, his head and his arms it's there it's cool that they added it in there but it really to me ruins the look of the toy so I just kind of go ahead and do that and then you have Zaya right here I thought this was really cool I saw her a few days ago and like she was like one of really the only other human characters that I actually wanted because I pretty much only care about the dinosaurs I thought they did a great job on her I mean it's it's nothing big there's tons of articulation for a, a three and three quarter inch toy she does come with the baby Tyrannosaurus, which he's like whatever just a solid pvc but it's a nice little throw in then you have the dinosaur i've been wanting this guy for quite some time um just a heads up all these were uh, they are on clearance i don't know if my wife got them on clearance or not but i think this thing is like 10 bucks he's like 50 percent off and all these skeletons over here were like 10 bucks they're like five dollars right now but they're pretty much already sold out at target i didn't see any because i went looking for that that Tyrannosaurus rex i didn't see him i don't know if he's bigger or if he costs more for it but i really look forward to get one that one but this is the guy that like in every movie they've ever did that always comes running right at you and i was like well why don't they ever make that toy well they did and i got it and now that they're cheap i think i wouldn't mind getting a couple more but I don't know, I'm really going to need to cut back where I can. This submarine thing over here is also a cool toy. I try to get him out of the way. I'm going to take this in the bath later. Really looking forward to bath time tonight. This thing floats. I think it sinks. These big rubber missiles, they slide out. And then if you want to fill them up with water, you like break them apart. You fill them up with water. And then you sink the submarine the back here on the back tab you pull this cork out and then you fill that up with water to sink the submarine 
these little arms they move around this thing actually can grab something if you want to grab a bone which it doesn't really have an extra bone then this has a light on it and it does extra things that it can stay let me hold on just realize it's not even in the camera you push this button down for the light and depending on how you push it it will pulsate it will like flash Definitely pretty cool, which is weird, like, because if you take this in the bath with you, which is something I'm going to do later tonight for sure, definitely bring this thing in. He does come with this action figure, like, this container will probably get filled with water. That's not watertight. I think it will float on the water like this with these tubes, and if you leave all the plugs in, then if you pull all those out, and then you can sink it, you kind of have, you know, like, a submarine. Definitely a cool toy. I almost bought this a while ago. I was going to wait till it went on clearance and then it came out in that multi-pack. So I'm really glad that I waited because that's a nice thing to have in the collection. I think that's going to look really cool on the shelf. Then you have this guy here and I was thinking he's just like the T-Rex. He's actually not. He's got a different head. He's got this, the spikes here. Um, the bones on the T-Rex are different from this one. I know you would think it's exactly the same, but it's not. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting that one. They're probably about the same size. I would think that this one should probably be a little bit smaller, but I don't think that it's going to be. He's supposed to be laying on the bottom of the lake somewhere. But, man, he's just going to look good on the shelf. He does stand. It took a while to get me to get him standing. Then on these little ones, they all come with, like, this little poster board you can set next to them. This one actually has a stand, which is good because I don't know how else you would display them. These things do move around. If you move them around too much, they will kind of break apart at the joint not like break but just come apart at the joints then you have this one they all have the holes in the pegs which is good because if they definitely need a little help standing you put the pegs in there they fit nice and snug and then on this one you would take this neck bone off and put one of these things in there and then you crank the head down push a button and then the head will jump up or down depending on which way that you put it in there but they definitely look cool. I'm looking forward to putting these up in the collection. Then you have the Velociraptor right here. Once again, he comes with the poster thing. There's room to put the poster thing on there. And then it also has extra pegs on there if you want to cut them into like a more dynamic pose. But I thought it'd be better to put the poster on the board and save a little room. On this guy, you take out this centerpiece here and you put in one of these things. And then you get an action with the arms instead of the head. So it's nice that you, they give you that option. I can see if you're a kid, you wanted to play with these, you might want to put those in and, I don't know, do a little action with them. But they're just like a skeleton. I did, um, if you want to see that on one of my, or a couple of my San Diego Comic Con videos, I did film the Jurassic Park section. If you want to see the little museum thing that they made in the mansion, it looks really cool. And I won't make that mansion, but God, if I had the time and the money and the space to put it, that would be cool. I'm going to throw these up there with the collection and show right, so you So here that. we are with the collection and I rearranged some stuff. I moved this place set forward for I could kind of put these skeletons in the back of it because I'm never going to build that mansion, but if I did, that would be amazing. And so this place that does have like an inside, it's got buttons and you can push it and they got sound and lights and I don't have batteries in it. I don't think I've ever even did that. I got that thing for like 75% on clearance. And then here's the skeletons. Man, those things look good together. It's going to look even better when I get the other ones. And then coming around, you got the front side of the place set where they got that cage. You throw a bunch of dinosaurs in there and if you bring it down... Got the Spinosaurus and the T-Rex. And then over here on the other side is where the submarine is. The Mosasaurus is over there. And that's pretty much it. That's my uh, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World collection. Thanks for watching.